happy Thursday. So, um, I just filmed a video, and it ended up being 20, 20 minutes, no, 10 minutes, which I thought was a bit extreme, so I'm gonna go a little bit short, short, or kind of go a little bit faster. So basically, we have a new principal who we had this year. His name is Dr. Franco. He's kind of a, I don't know, I don't know anything about him. Um, we have been having, like, pride lessons because he's really trying to push, um, push different, like, new rules. Like, he's, re yeah, yeah. So, like, that has been ten minutes in each class of showing a video and then, um, having the teacher talk about it, one of which of those things was a dress code, but it wasn't called a dress code, it was called dressing with care, and what the, what the letter did that the teachers had to read, which many teachers refused to read, because they knew it was ridiculous, my teacher did, and he didn't say anything about it, but in my AP Lang class we discussed it, and basically this, basically what this did is it was saying that like dressing with care wasn't pants, it wasn't skirts, it can be pants, it's not wearing heels or slicking back your hair. And of all the examples they gave, two of them were specific for males. Which was slicking back your hair and wearing suits. Which was like a very, eh, obviously, this is gonna be, don't wear leggings. Crop top bad, kind of thing. Um, don't get me wrong, I understand. Um, I totally, totally understand um, dress codes and why they are important. And I understand that they can be they're important when it's used to set a standard of professionalism, but you can't set a standard of professionalism if you're only using gender-specific things and you're not solving things like, like, if you're gonna tell girls that they can't wear crop tops, you have to tell the guys that they had to pull up their pants, that they have to, like, not wear shirts that have drugs all over them, which people do, and honestly, not a lot of them get in trouble anymore. Like, obviously, there are some that get their them bleh, get asked to turn their shirt inside out, but lots of times they're just let off. So I'd understand that. However, it's not what this is. And also, it said that dressing was a way of self-expression, and almost how it was phrased was like kind of going against self-expression. Um, we analyzed this in our AP Lang class, which was really good. It was a good dis discussion. Um, everyone was talking about like slut-shaming and double standards and, um, like, how is it the argument that it's a distraction for boys? And it, it was just such a good um, discussion, and I was, like, very involved in it. It was very exciting. There were so many girls who were like, yeah, that's, it's not shaming is bad, and stuff like that. You know, it, like, just so many things came up as a result of this, which was really cool. Um, this, I have it, I took a picture of it, but... A lot of something this um, letter does is kind of equate your self-respect to how you dress. Um, let me find it. It's like, if you wish to earn the respect of others, your best bet is to broadcast respect for yourself. Um, yeah. Dressing with care does not mean... <laughs> and dressing with care thing, throughout the article, it, article, no, throughout the letter, it mentions that a lot two of the times are saying that dressing with care is different for everyone and that dressing with care looks different on everyone and the other two in different ways of saying it and the and the other two is saying that dressing with care is the exact oh my god I broke my earring oh my god oh my god wow wow that's what I get for messing with it. Okay. Anyway, they <laughs> that's sad. I'll fix it. They say that dressing with care is um, the same for everyone, and that um, specific guidelines for dressing with care are in the works. Stay tuned. So it's different for everyone, but it's also exactly the same for everyone. We're coming out with regulations for it. Um, yeah, it was... And while many of us consider these channels for self-expression, they can also be used as channels for broadcasting self-respect for the district. And then it also had to ask students for an alternative that demonstrates dressing with care, which was weird. My teacher just totally, he's like, this is so weird. I don't, 
uh, this is a great teacher, love him, he's the one who, like, when I wrote my historical essay on gender identity and discrimination, he was excited, he told me thank you, that he learned a lot, and it was a very interesting thing, and he's glad that I, like, wrote it, he was excited, so he's a great dude, and, like, ugh, I just can't get over how good the discussion was, there are only, like, two people who were negative, who talked, um, one of which was a girl who just said that, yeah, usually she doesn't, she says it was weird that we were talking about slut shaming when usually she'll just call the girls sluts and that she doesn't want to dress like a slut and it was kind of like, eh, but she was still against the idea of a dress code and, um, and then this guy who was like, it's all the media's fault, all of it, it's just the media, that's the real root of this problem, problem is the media, which was told BS, I don't know what he was saying, and then also at one point he talks about how he's a guy and he can't wear his nerdy shirts. Look up there, he says, pointing to the letter that has absolutely nothing to do with that at all. And no one had even said anything to do with it. He just like randomly was like, as a guy. So definitely a not all men kind of dude. But, oh, removing that. Um... This is just such a good discussion. And so if we had such a good discussion, he decided that we should write um, something about it instead of the assignment we were going to do based off of a quote. But he was giving us any anything. We could do anything with it. One guy, the guy who I did, is going to do a ranty style video where he's just going to talk to the camera. So basically he's going to vlog for an assignment, which is good. Um, automatic thing you would think is that I would do video, but I actually did not, because to me, it seems like the best idea for this would be a spoken word, which I have no experiences. No one's, no experience in. I don't know things from about spoken word except for, um, except for, like, what I've seen. I've seen a lot of spoken word, but I've never attempted. And I wrote it last night. And I did like editing today, and I went over to my friend's house, and I, um, had Emily and Emil, like, listen to it. And I, of course, me being me, was like, well, it'll probably be bad, but, um, they, they had, like, they had a good response. They were like, that was really good. <laughs> so I'm, I'm excited. I, um, yeah, it was nice reading it in a situation where I could be as loud because in the house I had to kind of like be quietly reading it because I don't want people to hear some of the like um Anthony to walk by and hear me say like oh. I read like the last part to mom of it because like that was good um the last part of it is basically just saying um no, I'm not even gonna go. I'm not gonna go into specifically what it's about, but like it turned out well. Maybe I'll film reading it if you're actually interested. I don't know. I'm obviously reluctant to do that because I don't have a good scale of how like okay it is. I know that I um I felt confident while reading it and how I read it, and I'm not afraid to read it in class, so I think that'll go well, and it'll definitely, um, it'll be good. I'm excited. Okay, last video was 10 minutes, this one is 8.45, but hey, I, it's slightly, slightly shorter. Okay, and I, I will see you tomorrow, and I will talk to you on Monday. Yay! Peace out.